Hey, Brett! Brett! All right, so this is my backfield. Um, it's about nine acres here, eight and a half, nine acres. It actually down past that deer stand. It makes a left. I'll go down there. Uh, it makes a 90 degree. So because I've been working, I had to work my other job seven days straight, and it's like I, it's crunch time. I need to be getting planted. I actually had my neighbor. Who has a big farm down the road who you've seen he actually combined my corn also he uh he came over and rolled the backfield for me and charged me 14 dollars an acre i didn't think that was too bad and i couldn't get up here so it's nice to i, I enjoy doing it but uh this is the way to go like i said this back here he uh he planted back here last year but it was no-tilled and so there was still sod and grass and weeds so he came back and rolled this and it looks pretty good and we'll come back and disc it i'm probably going to spray it with a little bit of roundup also and we should be ready to plant but this is already perfect he rolled it the other day this is supposed to be nice and sunny all day today nice and dried out all right so I'm at the deer stand that's back where I just came from there's a nice wet area right here and then this is the other portion of it So well, we should be able to disc this, spray it, and plant it. 
So I just ran the disc over this whole section here again. Still a little bit of grass, but the uh, the dirt's really soft, and you can pretty much plant in it. Uh, just still a little bit of grass that keeps coming up through. So we're gonna spray some Roundup low dose Roundup on here, kill the grass off, and we should be ready to fertilize and uh, plant next early next week the uh, four bottom plow that I just got yesterday is working out real good I mean we still have some wet areas it rained yesterday it rained the day before now we finally got a sunny day and it's pretty dry it's drying up pretty quick especially where I just ran the disc over that stuff's like drying out right now and uh, you can see he's kicking up a little bit of dust so it's drying out uh, the plow's doing pretty good we're gonna have to get some suitcase weights for the front of that tractor though I guess I haven't used it yet he's been using it and said the uh, front end is pretty light so we're gonna have to get some weights for it um, now we're gonna start concentrating on this side of the this side of the field here um, he's doing pretty good out there it's definitely starting to look a lot better we can probably run the disc over at once and I, I've already tried it in one spot I just want to use that tractor uh, the uh, 2020 starts to get hung up and all those big uh, ruts from the plow and then we just got to get this turned over here um, and then of course the backfields all turned over we have to run the disc over it but we're gonna have to use the uh, 6100 to disc the rest of this I think I'm gonna change gears and start spraying There are a lot of rocks in this field. Um, as we continue to plow, we just keep getting more and more. I've pulled rocks out almost the size of a uh, basketball, a couple of them. Rocks everywhere. Some are pretty cool, like this one. It's got some nice color to it. Um, so on the left side here, I just ran the disc over it just to see how it was going to turn out. And that's just one time with the disc over it and almost ready to plant. This four bottoms working out pretty good. So this has been the first time this field's ever really been plowed, so it's a little wet, not too bad. Some areas are real wet, but not right here. And the uh, tractor's 100 horsepower, four-wheel drive, it's still struggling a little bit. We made a good bit of progress today run the disc over tomorrow and it'll be ready to plant. <laughs> 